Hello dear children welcome back I am Dr Jisha Jo First of all I would like to convey a very big sorry to all my dear students I know you all have been waiting for this video on excretory system I was not able to upload the videos due to some personal reasons So in this video we are starting with the excretory system Before moving on to the excretory system we should know what is excretion we know a lot of metabolic activities are taking place in our body and as a result of these metabolic activities a lot of waste products are being produced in our body these waste products especially the nitrogen containing waste products if they are allowed to accumulate in the body they become toxic or poisonous to our body so these waste products need to be removed from our body and they should not be allowed to accumulate in our body the process of removal of these nitrogen containing waste from our body is called as excretion so you should know the definition of excretion what is excretion the process of removal of waste products especially the nitrogenous waste products from our body is called as excretion and excretion is very important to maintain a steady state or homeostasis in the body now all the organs that are concerned with the formation the storage and elimination of urine comprises the excretory system because urine because most of the nitrogenous waste the different types of nitrogenous waste that are produced in the body are ammonia urea uric acid etc so uh, these nitrogenous waste are eliminated from the body through urine so all the organs that are concerned with the formation the storage and elimination of urine constitute the excretory system now we should know what are the substances that are to be got rid of from the body what are the excretory products that are formed in the body the first type of excretory product that is formed in the body is nitrogenous waste so i told you what are nitrogenous waste they are waste containing nitrogen nitrogen is waste products they are mainly of three types ammonia urea and uric acid so these are the different nitrogenous waste products that are produced in our body how are these products formed in the body they are produced or they are formed from proteins we know we take in a lot of uh, we take in foods containing a lot of proteins and uh, the these proteins get digested in our body the basic units of proteins are the amino acids the major component of the amino acid is nitrogen so after the uh, usage by the body the excess of excess amino acids or the extra amino acids which are not needed by our body is taken into the liver and in the liver these amino acids get broken down these amino acids are formed of a nitrogen containing part called the uh, amino group and the carbon containing part which is called as the carboxyl group this carboxyl part of the amino acid is used up for the synthesis of glucose whereas the amino group the nitrogen containing part of the amino acid has to be removed out from the body as this nitrogen uh, nitrogenous uh, part or the nitrogen uh, containing part uh, cannot be stored in the body so after the use by the body the excess amino acids what are amino acids amino acids are the uh, products of digestion of proteins we know we have or we take in foods rich in proteins and these proteins get digested in our body in the digestive system these get digested amino acids are formed these amino acids are used as the uh, or used for the growth and repair of body parts and the excess of amino acids or the extra amino acids are taken back to the liver where these amino acids are broken down 
and the carbon containing part will be stored in the liver as glycogen and the nitrogen containing part since it cannot be stored in the body will be removed out as the nitrogenous waste and there are three types of nitrogenous waste that are produced they are ammonia urea and uric acid so this is the first type of uh, ni uh, excretory product that is formed in our body okay now moving on to the second type that is the first type the second type of excretory product is excess salts so sodium chloride we take in a lot of uh, salt through our foods whatever is needed by the body will be used up by the body the excess salts have to be removed out these excess salts will be mostly removed out through urine that is through the kidneys they will be removed out and some of the excess salt may be removed out through sweat also so that is a second type of uh, excretory product that is excess salts excess salts need uh, cannot be stored in the body they are to be removed out from the body they are removed out either through urine or through sweat the third product excretory product is bile the bile pigments what are these bile pigments bile is actually the product of breakdown of the hemoglobin of rbcs the rbcs get worn out or the dead rbcs they become functionless so when they become functionless these worn out or dead rbcs are taken uh, into the liver where they are broken down and uh, this results in the formation of bile this bile is a yellowish green watery fluid that is produced in the liver how is it produced bile is the breakdown product of the hemoglobin of rbcs we know dead and worn out rbcs or the red blood cells are bro brought into the liver where they are broken or uh, broken up and uh, we know hemoglobin is formed of two parts the heme part and the globin part the hemin part that is the iron containing part will be stored in the liver for the further production of uh, hemoglobin uh, that is further production of rbcs while the rest of it which is to be removed out will be removed out from the uh, body that is in the form of bile so bile is actually the breakdown product of the hemoglobin of rbcs and it is produced in the liver and there are two types of pigments that are present in bile number 1 is bilirubin and number 2 is biliverdin these are the pigments that are present in bile and these pigments give the uh, characteristic color to bile bile is a yellowish green fluid watery fluid and it is because of the presence of these pigments uh, which uh, gives that particular color to bile and we have studied in ninth standard bile uh, the two fold functions of bile bile is actually uh, released into the duodenum part of the small intestine and it is this bile which makes the acidic chyme alkaline and second function it helps in the emulsification of fats the large fat molecules are broken down into small small fat uh, droplets on which the enzymes can act upon so this bile which is produced in the liver which is actually the breakdown product of the hemoglobin of the rbc is brought into the digestive system it is through the common bile duct the bile is uh, passed into the duodenum part of the small intestine and it is uh, the presence of these bile pigments which give the characteristic color to the faces so what is faces faces is the undigested food material so the characteristic color of the faces is due to the presence of bile pigments okay so that is the third type of uh, substance which is to be got rid out uh, rid of from the body the bile the fourth uh, substance or the fourth excretory product is excess water soluble vitamins excess water soluble 
vitamins. Vitamins are of two types, the fat soluble vitamins and the water soluble vitamins. The water soluble vitamins are vitamin A and vitamin C. These are called water soluble because they are soluble in water and the excess vi vitamins that is excess uh, vitamin A and vitamin C are released out through urine. We have that also we have studied in 9th standard vitamins are required only in trace amounts or small amounts. So uh, the excess whatever is used up by the body after that what remains in excess has to be removed out from the body and since they are water soluble they get dissolved in water and they are removed out through urine. So that is the fourth uh, substance that is to be got rid of rid out uh, of the body from the body. The fifth uh, substance is carbon dioxide and sixth is water. Carbon dioxide, how is carbon dioxide produced in our body? We know as a result of respiration taking place in each and every cell of, cell of our body, carbon dioxide is produced. And how is this carbon dioxide given out from the body? It is through the lungs the carbon dioxide is released out. When we exhale or during the process of expiration, we exhale or breathe out the carbon dioxide that is produced in our body. So that is through lungs the carbon dioxide oxide is released out. The last pro excretory product is water. So we know we take in a lot of water. We take in a lot of water. It may be in the form of pure water or some co soft drinks uh, or uh, different types of beverages or through foods that we eat, through the vegetables, through the fruits, through all these different ways the water enters into our body. Water is needed by a body. Water is very essential for the various activities of the body. But excess water needs to be removed out. These excess water will be removed out mainly as urine, through urine and some of it may be removed out through sweat. By the sweat glands, sweating, the process of sweating takes place and some amount of water is released out from the body through sweat. So we, it, uh, normally we say that we have to drink a lot of water, almost 8 glasses of water have to be drunk every day. The reason is that uh, water helps to remove the harmful waste products the, the products that are that are able to dissolve in water can be removed out when we drink a lot of water so these are the excretory products that are formed in our body once again the nitrogenous waste products they are the products of breakdown of amino acids there are three types of nitrogenous waste ammonia urea uric acid they are mostly released out uh, in the form of urine uh, and it is the kidneys that help in the uh, formation of uh, urine. Number two, excess salts. Excess salts after what is being used up by the body. What is in excess have to be removed out. Again, it is released out through urine. urine. Some of it is released out through sweat also. Bile pigments are the breakdown product of the hemoglobin of RBCs. The pigments present in bile are bilirubin and biliverdin. The bile reaches the small intestine at the duodenum part of the small intestine and the characteristic color of the faces is due to the presence of uh, the bile pigments. Number four, excess water soluble vitamins. The vitamins that are soluble in water that is vitamin A and vitamin C are removed out of the body through urine. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is another waste product which is removed out through the lungs by the process of expiration. Number six, water. Water. A lot of water is removed out through urine in the form of urine and some of it is also released through sweat. So these are the major substances which are to be got rid of uh, from the body. So these are the excretory products. Now, what, what is the major, what is excretion? We have seen excretion is the process of removal of nitrogenous waste from our body. 
so the major excretory organ in our body is the kidneys because kidneys are the organ that are involved in the formation of urine so dear children in the next video we shall discuss about uh, the uh, excretory organ that is the kidney and its internal structure so i hope this session is clear to you if you have any doubts regarding the session please ask your doubts and uh, give your comments in the comment section thank you